Hello everyone and welcome to the command help, the orbiting and selecting tutorial. Let's start off by typing in command help in your command bar up here. So I'm just going to type in command help, hit enter, and this, this window will pop up. So just make sure to have it turned on and just floating somewhere on your screen because you'll be using it to get uh, assistance on all the commands that you type in in your command bar. My Rhino model right now has four boxes, a surface, and three curves. You can create these by going over here on your tools and clicking on the box. Or you can also just type in box and start following the commands that show you in the command help bar. You can create curves by clicking the polyline right here, or you can type in polyline. And you can create a surface by clicking on surface from three points here, or click and hold, and then select the two-point surface, and then follow the instructions in the command help. So once you've created these things, we can start using them as something to orbit and select in your Rhino file. This is a default four-view layout with shaded mode in my perspective view. I can change the other viewports to have the same shaded mode by right-clicking on the name and selecting shaded. I'm going to do this for all four of them. So inside your viewport, you'll mainly be using your mouse to select things and orbit around your model. The left click will be used for selection and the right click as well as the mouse wheel will be used for orbiting. For example, if I left click on a box, it will turn yellow, which means that it's selected. It will show up in the properties bar, which is located right here. And any commands I will type in will be directed towards this selection. To deselect, simply press escape or click anywhere else in your um, empty space in your Rhino model. To select all the objects on my screen, I can do Control A, which will select all the objects. As you see, they all turned yellow. And to deselect, I can just press Escape or click somewhere on the empty space model. I can also select by using the selection window by left-clicking and holding and dragging your mouse. This will select all the objects that are inside the contained selection outline. As you can see, if I drag to the right, it will form a rectangle that has a consistent line, a solid line. So everything that falls inside this rectangle will be selected. As you see, the curves on the surface will not be selected. If I click and drag to the left, the line will become dashed, which means everything the line touches will become selected. For example, if I only select around the four boxes, but I touch the curves and the surface, they'll get selected as well. You can also use commands to select specific objects on your screen. For example, if I type in select curve, which is cell CRV, it will only select the curves on my screen. If I type in cell SRF, it will only select the surfaces. You can also select by right-clicking in your layers and select objects by layer. In this case, all my objects are on one layer, so they're all selected. Now let's take a look at orbiting around your model. If we right-click and hold inside the perspective, we will be able to rotate the view around our model. So if I right-click, I'm able to orbit around my model. If we use the same right-click in a 2D view, we will use it to pan. But if we want to pan inside our perspective model, we have to hold down shift while holding down right click and moving your mouse. So you can alternate between right clicking to orbit and right clicking with shift to pan around your model. I'm going to close down the command helpline. You can expand one of the views by double-clicking on its tab to expand it at full screen. 
And now you can practice your orbiting or your panning around the model. You can scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out of your model, or you can also hold down control and right click and move your mouse forward and backwards to move. These are your basic controls to orbit around your model, which are orbiting, the panning with holding down shift, holding down control and moving your mouse forward and backwards to zoom. Let's say if you accidentally zoom way out and you can't see your model anymore, you can always use Control A to select your model and type in ZS, which will zoom selected objects. This is a great way to find your way back. So let's do that again. I'll zoom all the way out, Control A to have it selected. Even if I have it outside my view, for example, I'll pan outside so I can't see it. I'll Control A selected. I can see that my property says I have a varied selection, which I imagine is all the objects in my model space. Then I type in ZS and I hit enter and it will go back to my objects. Anytime you lose track of your model you can just do the sequence of selecting all and zoom selected which is ZS.